discover the captivating story behind the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, or GERD, a groundbreaking hydropower project on the Blue Nile River. Join us as we unravel its historical roots, technical marvels, and the heated debates surrounding the socioeconomic, environmental, and political dimensions. From construction challenges to international negotiations, explore how GERD is reshaping the region's hydropolitical landscape. This is your concise guide to understanding the GERD's impact on Ethiopia and its neighboring nations. So, before we delve in, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. The Nile River has always been the lifeblood of the region, nurturing numerous civilizations throughout history. However, the management and distribution of the Nile's waters have been a source of contention and conflict. For decades, Egypt and Sudan have enjoyed the majority of the Nile's waters, leaving the upstream countries, including Ethiopia, with limited access. This skewed distribution has created tensions and disparities, particularly affecting Ethiopia's utilization of the river's vast resources. The GERD represents Ethiopia's opportunity to assert its sovereignty over the Blue Nile and tap into its immense potential. It's a symbol of national pride, reflecting Ethiopia's ambition to become a regional powerhouse. By including the GERD, Ethiopia aims to secure its energy needs, reduce dependence on imported fossil fuels, and accelerate its economic development. It also seeks to exercise its rights as an upstream riparian country and demand a fairer distribution of the Nile's waters. Now that we understand the historical context and significance, let's take a closer look at the key features and technical aspects of the GERD. The GERD is an engineering marvel designed to withstand the test of time and the force of the Blue Nile. Its innovative design incorporates advanced technologies and techniques to ensure its stability and longevity. The dam is a roller compacted concrete or RCC gravity dam, standing at a remarkable height of 170 meters or 558 feet and spanning a width of 1,800 meters or 5,906 feet. This colossal structure will hold back the mighty waters of the Blue Nile, creating a reservoir with a storage capacity of up to 74 billion cubic meters. This immense capacity enables better water management, flood control, and the generation of hydroelectric power. Once operational, the GERD will have a power generation capacity of 6,000 megawatts, making it the largest hydroelectric power plant in Africa. This not only meets Ethiopia's electricity needs, but also provides an opportunity for exporting energy to neighboring countries. The GERD's reservoir will regulate the flow of water throughout the year, which could have a significant impact on agriculture and food security in the region. The controlled water supply can be used for irrigation, enabling farmers to cultivate their land even during dry seasons. Improved agricultural productivity can boost food security and reduce dependence on imports. However, it's essential to ensure equitable distribution of water resources, considering the potential downstream impacts on Egypt and Sudan. While the GERD promises numerous benefits, it also raises concerns regarding its environmental and ecological impact. The dam's reservoir will flood a vast area, potentially displacing communities and affecting local ecosystems. Proper reservoir management and the implementation of environmental mitigation measures are crucial to minimize these negative effects. Preserving the ecological balance of the area and safeguarding the biodiversity thriving in and around the Blue Nile River are of utmost importance. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, or GERD, has sparked intense debates and conflicts regarding water sharing in the Nile Basin. Egypt and Sudan are concerned about the potential impact of the dam on their water supply, as the Nile is a vital resource for their agricultural, industrial, and domestic needs. These concerns have led to tense negotiations and disagreements between the countries involved. The construction and operation of the GERD have strained the political relations between Ethiopia, Sudan, and Egypt. Egypt, being downstream, fears that the dam's reservoir will reduce its water share, 
and adversely affect its economy. Sudan, caught in the middle, is concerned about the potential risks as well as the potential benefits of the dam. Finding a balance and fostering cooperation among these nations is crucial to ensure the peaceful and sustainable development of the GERD. The GERD project faces significant challenges, particularly in terms of financing and funding. Building such a massive infrastructure requires substantial investment, and Ethiopia has faced difficulties in securing enough funds. Furthermore, potential investors are sometimes hesitant due to the political and water-sharing conflicts surrounding the dam. Overcoming these financial challenges is essential for the successful completion and operation of the dam. The construction and operation of the GERD also come with technical and operational obstacles. The dam's location in a seismically active region raises concerns about its stability and the potential risks of earthquakes. Managing the dam's reservoir and ensuring efficient and safe operation present additional challenges. Overcoming these technical hurdles requires careful planning, advanced engineering solutions, and ongoing monitoring to ensure the long-term sustainability and reliability of the GERD. Recognizing the importance of finding a peaceful resolution, various international mediation forums and initiatives have been established to facilitate negotiations over the GERD. Organizations such as the African Union, United Nations, and United States have been involved in mediating discussions between Ethiopia, Sudan, and Egypt. These mediation efforts aim to promote dialogue, understanding, and collaboration to reach a mutually beneficial agreement. The outcomes of the negotiations over the GERD have significant implications for all parties involved. The ongoing talks have resulted in the signing of the Declaration of Principles and subsequent negotiations of technical details. However, reaching a comprehensive agreement that addresses the concerns of all stakeholders remains elusive. The outcomes of these negotiations will shape the future of water sharing in the Nile Basin and have broader implications for regional stability and cooperation. Despite all the challenges and controversies surrounding the GERD, there are potential positive impacts on Ethiopia and its neighbors. The dam can contribute to Ethiopia's economic development by providing a reliable source of electricity, supporting industrial growth, and enabling irrigation for agriculture. Furthermore, the GERD has the potential to promote regional integration by fostering cooperation in the Nile Basin and creating opportunities for economic partnerships. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, or GERD, symbolizes Ethiopia's drive for development and energy independence. But it faces challenges and controversies. With socio-economic benefits, environmental concerns, and political implications in the Nile Basin, the GERD's future is uncertain. Amid negotiations and international mediation, its potential to reshape the region and foster cooperation is evident. Only time will unveil the lasting impact of this ambitious project on Ethiopia and its neighbors.